I'm going to be putting a few Halloween animations on the channel during the rest of October and I've called this one Stick or Treat. As well as being sticky, this week's video was pretty tricky too, for several reasons which I'm going to outline and explain for you right now. So first of all, I wanted my animation to loop and I decided that the element that would create the loop would be a sticker that comes back into frame and then sticks onto the lens of the camera. However, you don't want to stick a sticker directly onto the lens of your camera because, well, it's going to damage the surface. There's no way that you'd be able to get the sticky residue off. And to be honest, it's not really worth the risk, even if you've got a little filter on there. I still didn't want to stick something directly onto my lens. So I had to figure out what could I put in front of the camera to stick the sticker on instead. Now my first thought was glass, but glass is heavy and I didn't have a small enough piece or anything to hold it up that I thought was good. But instead I found these photo frames that have a plastic window. And I managed to secure one around my camera using just two elastic bands. And they seemed to hold it nicely flat against the lens. Now, you might think, well, why didn't you just put it on the table in front of the camera? And the reason why is you can't get a clean enough shot. It warps the lens slightly and also it creates reflections. Reflections from my body behind the camera, as well as reflections from anything I was animating in front of the camera. So putting it directly in front of the lens and securing it with elastic bands was the best way to do this. And I feel like it worked really well. Until I told you that that is what I had done, I bet you didn't even notice in the animation that there was anything in front of the camera at all. There were several other elements to this animation that were tricky as well. One of them was securing the stickers down onto the table. You'll notice that they're on a transparent plastic, so putting any sort of sticky tack underneath would show through and that would be a nightmare to correct. So instead I had this glue dispenser, it's like a roller and you just pull it along and it releases a little bit of sticky residue. And so I just applied a little bit of that on the underside of the sticker sheet behind stickers that I wasn't going to be removing. And then I put that down on the table, it kept that sheet really steady and it meant that there was nothing to clean up because you couldn't see it. So animating semi-transparent stickers was tricky for two other reasons as well. First of all, you need to rig them and the wire would show through this sticker. So in the rig removal process, I also had to clean up the artwork on the sticker because you had this little bit of wire showing through. It was not too difficult to correct, but it was just an annoying thing to have to do as well. And the second thing was reflections. You'll notice that because the stickers are all shiny and they are on this plastic backing, that they're reflecting themselves in the sheet. But that's not all that's getting reflected. The rig is also getting reflected. So there's the wire and the white tack in certain places is casting a reflection onto the sheet of stickers. So during the rig removal process, I also had to be careful to remove the reflection that I didn't want but to keep the reflection of the sticker because I wanted it to look as real as possible. And the stickers were casting a reflection themselves. And in some frames of the rig removal, it was difficult to distinguish what was a sticker reflection and what was a rig re reflection too. So that was why this animation was tricky as well. So if you're looking for a challenge, why not animate some semi-transparent stickers? They're both sticky and tricky. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new videos every week and if you feel like helping me out, I also have a Patreon where you can support me and it helps me make more videos like this. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you again in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like these other Halloween themed videos on screen now.